Hi guys, this is Alex Andrezar and in today's video we are going to change the air conditioner uh, unit well basically the radiator and also the drying element for the drying element we have this code over here in the drying element we've got also two brand new gaskets so you don't have to order them, the, order them separately in the uh, radiator we've got also some gaskets so again you don't have to order them separately what I recommend also to uh, change during this uh, procedure it's uh, this component 6A which as you can see it is some sort of filter this gets clogged up and the air conditioner uh, compressor has a lot of to suffer because of this now the radiator looks really well black black coating so it's protected very well against rust the code for it is this one the vehicle is a Passat B5.5 with uh, xenon headlights so don't know if that really matters but it's a thing that you you, you have this uh, door this uh, window attached to the bumper so you don't have to do anything special to it this is the whole schematics so we've got uh, also the codes the part numbers for the o-rings again as I said there are some which which come some o-rings which come with the radiator and the condenser unit the dryer unit but we also had them ordered separately to make sure that we don't have any of them lacking so for the file number 58 we've got this code for file number 50 we've got this code file number 15 we've got this code then we've got 56 with this code then we've got 55 with this code and on the top side we've got again uh, file number 6a and 12 and as you can see I'm gonna wait a bit here these are the Mali components and let's get cracking so in order to take off the front bumper you first start with the front grill which has a screw over here a screw over here and uh, then you have to I'm not gonna show you on the left wheel I'm gonna show you on the right side wheel because it's much easier to show so as I said you've got three clips over here that's that's one bolt that's another bolt and then you got this one over here on the bottom side you've got you should have three so on the bottom side you should have three bolts this one over here one but it's missing and another one over here that's kind of it so over here in order to remove this uh, handle you have to pull it out like this a bit and then raise that security clip and then pull those prongs apart you have just to wiggle it and then it comes out now we raise the grill be careful on the 
bottom parts so you don't snap plastic components so this grill has already been taken off a couple of times because I see that it has this tab over here but this one here is broken and this one and this one should have had four uh, tabs anyways it's uh, you have to put a flathead screwdriver on uh, on this here tab and push it and also pull pull the pull the front grill up upwards i also forgot to tell you about the fact that we also have four screws on the top side that need to be removed I forgot to tell you about one more screw which which is on this side you come through this recess in the plastic uh, wheelhouse and same over here on this other side and don't forget that you need to uh, pull out the bumper uh, really carefully because you have the electrical connectors for the fog lights here and here now we've got two more things to undo. Uh, the first thing is this plastic component which is held in by this screw, this screw, this one over here, and this one over here and that one over there. So after you remove that you will have to remove the, uh, the front bumper reinforcer. So we have also these shrouds to remove, we didn't remove this at, after all, we didn't remove this. We have these shrouds, um, one is on the left, on the right side of the car and the other is on the left side. You have this bolt over here and that's it, you, it just comes out like that. Wiggle it out. On this side it came out uh, easier. <coughs> we have observed the fact that also the coolant radiator needs to be changed because it's um, well it's got some issues over here where it is uh, it's meeting the the plastic ends so we removed uh, the coolant, some of it at least. We have also noticed the fact that this bottom um, AC line is this bottom AC line is uh, well, it's no longer good. It's somehow exploded. Now what we need to do is disconnect this top uh, hose, the bottom hose. It's got a uh, it's got a metal clip going through it, same as the the top one, this one. If you ever think that you don't need to change the coolant radiator, think again, because this is what you have on the back of it and this the bottom part top bottom part is wet as you can see and here again it's wet and it's not from how we removed the coolant it's wet because it's well it's damaged and it's wet all the way up to the middle side Okay, so we have removed the we have removed the uh, AC pipes, and for the upper part, you have FN12, which is used in two places, and FN13. So these are the codes. This is FN12 once, FN12 twice, and FN13.
as you can see in the left hole it's FN12 and also FN12 will also be uh, at the end of this other pipe here FN12 and FN13 will be on the left side this one more thing uh, in order to cha change this uh, small diameter pipe you have to uh, remove the cowling over here and also the air filter box the air filter box stands in the chassis on the bottom side in those holes and over here you have uh, uh, a bolt down here you have uh, the the bracket with the two bolts which are right now broken inside we'll see about those how to repair them and over here on the bottom side you have the condenser as I was saying in the junction over there you should find inside the filter the filter would look like this it catches all sorts of debris and mess and you need to change this. This side, this small side goes towards the cabin. This big side goes towards the engine side. Let me show you. This is the old one from a junkyard. The filter is in there. We tried getting it out. It didn't want to come out. So we replaced the small diameter pipe in order to pass the big nut, this big nut over there, we had to pass it through the rubber grommet. We used these kind of pliers, we increased the diameter of the grommet and we passed it through. So we've got the new radiators in. Um, just some notes on the assembly when you put the coolant radiator and the AC radiator in just note that over here is a tub you can approach this in two ways you can approach this in two ways you have either cut this tub like we did over here or leave it like it is on this side anyways uh, what you need to do is pay close attention to have enough clearance uh, in between the, the radiator and the AC pipe because we had to pull against the radiator to make a bigger clearance in between this pipe which goes parallel to the heat exchanger. Anyways, uh, pretty self-explanatory when you remove the entire assembly the entire core unit you have to remove this plastic tab and this plastic tab over here and after that you will um, you will be able to remove the entire core if you have unscrewed this these two flanges over here okay just be aware of that so now we have added some coolant into the expansion tank and we are about to start the car and finish the well the entire procedure. This is Alex Andrezar, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.